Holistic Earth In Greek mythology, the labyrinth was an intricate structure designed by Daedalus for King Minos of Crete to contain the Minotaur, a monster ultimately slain by the hero Theseus. Daedalus constructed the labyrinth so cleverly that he struggled to escape it himself. Despite early Cretan coins showing branching patterns, the classical representation of the labyrinth on coins from 430 BC onward featured a single path, non-branching design. This contradicted the logical and literary descriptions of the Minotaur being trapped in a complex branching maze. The use of branching mazes re-emerged during the Renaissance with the popularity of hedge mazes. The term, labyrinth, in English is often used interchangeably with, maze. However, due to the historical association of the labyrinth with a single, unicursal path, some scholars distinguish between mazes, multicursal, and labyrinths, unicursal. Unicursal labyrinths appeared in various forms, such as pottery, body art, cave and church etchings, and Roman decorative designs. The etymology of the word, labyrinth, is uncertain, with suggestions ranging from the Lydian word for, double-bladed axe, to a possible relation with the Greek word for a, narrow street. The Cretan labyrinth, associated with Gnosis, was initially suggested by Arthur Evans but has faced skepticism in modern archaeological explorations. The Egyptian labyrinth, mentioned by Herodotus, was a complex building near the city of crocodiles. Pliny's natural history lists labyrinths in Lemnos and Italy, both described as underground structures. Labyrinths have been found in various ancient cultures outside Europe, including India, where they are known as chakravua. Stone labyrinths exist near the White Sea, and similar patterns appear in Native American culture. In the late 20th century, there was a resurgence of interest in labyrinths, with thousands registered worldwide. Labyrinths are also explored in contemporary fine arts, with artists like Pete Mondrian, Joan Miro, and M.C. Escher incorporating labyrinthine themes into their works. The cultural meanings of labyrinths are diverse, ranging from spiritual symbolism to practical uses in trapping malevolent spirits. In Christian tradition, labyrinths have been used in worship, with notable examples in Chartres Cathedral. Some Christians disapprove of labyrinths, considering them pagan or New Age. Labyrinths have found their way into various forms of media, including video games, films like Pan's Labyrinth, and literary works by authors such as Jorge Luis Borges and Umberto Eco. The labyrinth serves as a powerful metaphor in literature, art, and contemporary cultural expressions.